Good morning, I'm Mark Levicott. And I'm Rob Stubbrick with your Channel 3000.com headlines for Tuesday, July 17th. We are in the midst of one of the widest droughts since 1956. That's according to the monthly State of the Climate Drought Report released yesterday. 55% of the continental U.S. is in a moderate to extreme drought. The report shows that crops, pastures, and rangeland have deteriorated at an alarming rate. And as you know, this drought is taking a toll on area farmers. And some are already taking to the fields to cut down corn. In the Dells area, farmers are trying to salvage what's left of their crop and make corn silage. Is it still food? Um, we'll have to supplement some grain to make our diet for the cows. But it's still utilizing. We're still salvaging something. We will get something out of this. It's not a lot, but we will get something. Farmers will have to supplement with grain because silage lacks the corn itself. With the heat advisory continuing, health officials say this summer's heat wave has been deadly. Since the beginning of the month, the heat is being blamed for at least eight deaths in Wisconsin and could have played a role in 11 more. Half of the deaths were here in southern Wisconsin, two in Barron County and two in La Crosse County. While in the heat, remember to drink lots of water and if heat related symptoms appear, take action to reduce body temperatures. This has been a Channel 3000.com update.